Hey y'all, welcome back to our digital outreach series for the Aiken County Historical Museum. What you're seeing in front of you is a Dixie cup and a Dixie holder. Um, this is from our pharmacy exhibit down in the basement area, and it's a pharmacy that was um, opened in Dunbarton, South Carolina, which of course was removed in the 1950s due to the Savannah River site coming in and taking over um, the towns. But we want to talk to you about this cool little invention. Um, so this, in, this Dixie cup holder was invented in 1907 by a Boston lawyer and his motive behind developing these throwaway paper and paraffin wax cups was health. Um, back in um, the earlier years of America's business history, you would sometimes have a communal cup at your theaters, um, at your uh, public fountains, drug stores, department stores, things like that. And this, of course, was a big spreader of germs. And you can see here, um, the public drinking cup must go. Um, Llewellyn, who invented the Dixie cup, said that, or was quoted as saying, one drinking cup can spread more disease in an hour than a board of health can eradicate in a year. So the idea was to go to this. Um, you would have your little holder, you would have your disposable cup, and this fashionable lady here in the 1920s is drinking out of one of those cups. The shorter cups would be for um, your carbonated beverages, your hot coffees, things like that. The taller cup seen here that she's drinking from, that would have been used for your ice cream floats because of course you need more space to have the good old ice cream. Now, eventually down the line, these Dixie cups would change fashion. They would become fancier. Um, they would have different designs at the top of the cup and things like that. Um, this cup is actually the patented part here, or the Dixie cup here, and you can see the patent date of 1921. Um, this was actually, um, of course, multi-use, so they would have used this year after year, time after time. These Dixie cups that were paper and paraffin would have been highly disposable and they would have come up with different designs and different themes each time. This one is released in 1951 and this design was called Melody and it was considered a more groovy uh, pattern for the era and for the time. So it's kind of neat that our exhibit here at the pharmacy in the basement has frozen this Dixie cup development in 1951 with its groovy pattern. We hope you've enjoyed learning more about the Dixie Cup and will come and visit us and see it for yourself in person.